Even if you tried, you wouldn't understand it Maybe something's missing inside of you Just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing really, really good. So today's video is going to be a what's new in Ikea video for you guys. As you all know, April the 12th has been and gone and the non-essential shops are back open so we can go and visit all our favourite shops. And of course, Ikea is one of my favourite shops just to look around, just to get some inspiration, to buy bits. I just love it. So as soon as it opened, of course, I had to go back and shop there and I thought I would bring you guys along with me. So if you are not new to this channel, then you know that I love Ikea and I have done a few vlog style come to Ikea with me and some big Ikea hauls on this channel. But today's video is a little bit different. I have filmed areas in Ikea and I thought I'd just talk to you about the pieces which I'm really, really liking at the moment. What I noticed that was new in there. There's quite a few new little setups in our local Ikea. So I thought I would just go through and speak to you about what I saw in there and really what I am loving and finding inspiring in Ikea at the moment. So I do hope that you like this kind of video, I then will show you what I bought at the end. And the one thing that I did really want to buy, they didn't have in stock. So everyone's got there before me, but I'll speak to you about that shelf in the video and you can see what I want to go and buy hopefully next time that I go. Anyway, before I ramble too long, let's get into what is new in Ikea, April, 2021. So here is a large floor lamp. I've not spotted this in Ikea before. It curves over the seating area or whichever area you would place this lamp, but it's black and white. It was 50 pound with this monochrome look and the size of it, I just think it's very statement and very different. Onto a bed here and I wanted to show you the textures of the bedding and the colours because a lot of this sage green and green tones were coming into Ikea. I noticed a lot of that and then this was the other side of the room, the wardrobes. Very neutral toned room and yeah, I thought it was really beautiful. Beyond gravel, beyond I saw this and thought this would be a lovely idea to display your children's awards and achievements just a little bit differently and I just really liked the idea. So it's a hanger with a frame on it on a peg on the wall. The frame was £1.75. Coming on to a few shelving units which I spotted, so first this black one with the wooden tops which is £85 or wooden shelves I should say and then there is this one over here which I think I prefer and it's a little bit cheaper as well with the clear glass but I thought you could style these up so beautiful especially if you've got the monochrome look in your house or you've got accents of black in your house, I think that this is just so nice. Um. 
really loved these round bamboo wood natural effect mirrors they were only 20 pounds so i thought that was a really good price for a mirror and then i spotted this chair which i'm guessing is for a child because it's got the step up on there and they are wood or wood effect again and i just thought that they looked quite different so that was 80 pound for that chair stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are so these were quite different i thought they are silicone lids which you can put over your fruit so if you cut a cucumber or an orange or whatever fruit in half you can cover it up with a silicone lid so they won't go bad and then moving on into the kitchen appliances this area has been completely changed in my IKEA now so you can look at all the different appliances that they have in this new layout just like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down and also a new addition to my local Ikea was this coffee shop layout, which I just thought was fantastic. And then they had a florist shop next door to this. And I just thought it was such a nice idea. I guess you could get idea for your businesses in there or kit out your business with Ikea furniture and it just gets so much inspiration. So I just thought this was fabulous. How come the trees get undressed when it's cold? Don't they miss the leaves they left behind? Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes? Until winter comes? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me. I really love these walls mounted pegboards you can put so many different attachments onto them so you can store lots of different things and I'm planning on getting these in our garage eventually once we organize out the garage and then there was so much home office inspiration I guess so many people have been working from home for the past year or so so yeah they've upped their home office game and then here I am in the mirror there you can see me in a bathroom I really loved the bowls that were on this bathroom unit it the black mirrors they were 40 pound they were really large and very minimalistic and simple but very effective yeah i really liked this whole setup and layout it really makes me wonder Another black mirror which I was drawn to. This isn't new, I don't think. I've seen this in here before and they also do it in a wood pine colour. It's £45, but I really do love that mirror. And then here's a few little bathroom accessories. I keep looking at bathroom accessories because we are doing up our bathroom. And then this wardrobe here is a new rain. I think that you get all of the bits separately, so the wardrobe comes separate to the side ends, but you can just design and style it how you would like and how it would fit the style of your room. So I thought I'd pop that one in here. And then also this tray, £10. Thought it was really beautiful and another new thing that I've spotted in Ikea. So here is actually the item which I wanted to pick up but they didn't have in store. Uh, they were out of stock when we went to go and look for it in the marketplace. And I just really love it. It was only £20. That's two together there. So they're, they are short. They've just put two together to make it longer. And then I loved the way it was styled with the hanging mirror and that hanging frame. Exactly how I would like to do it at home. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then coming into the kids section, they had quite a lot of new furniture pieces, a lot of mix and match furniture pieces in true IKEA style. They have all of the different top shelves, bottom shelves, wardrobes. You can just mix and match together to create your own system. So I just thought it was really cute and it was really cute blue pastel-y colour which I thought was lovely. I don't think it would suit my home personally but it was new in there so I thought I would show it on here. And I thought that this was really different. It's like a half size wardrobe and that would be perfect for space efficient storage. You've got the baskets inside and then it pulls outwards so that your clothes are facing frontwards. So I thought it was just really different. Obviously it'd be for a child size clothing, but yeah, something a little bit different and that was the price for that there. And then I spotted this cot in the store, which is new. I've never seen this before. I don't think you can class it as a cot because one half side is completely down. So I don't know if you'd be able to put a baby in there, but as you can see, my child is demonstrating it there, pulling out the drawer for you, for the storage. But I thought it was really different. I love the spindles on the back. I love the mix between the wood and the white, and it's just a really funky shape. So there's the price for it there, and I just, thought it was really cool. And then I spotted these, these storage containers. I really love the beige colour. Then you've also got a darker colour over here. But they are all different sizes. So from really small tubs to medium to large. And look at the prices. 25p, 50p. Thought they were great for storage inside drawers and shelves. And you can design it how you would like and to fit your space. And again, we are back with the pegboards, which I love so much and I can't wait till I go back and finally get some for myself but here's all of the bits that you can get to put on to your so there pickles. we go that was a glimpse into Ikea and what is new currently in the store and now I thought I'd just share with you a few little bits which I picked up whilst in store in Ikea so I firstly got this doormat just to go by a front door doormats just seem to wear quite easily don't they I mean it's the First place, you step in with your shoes when you come in the house and we've just had winter, so we've had the mud, the rain, the snow, all of that. So our front door doormat is just not looking its best. So I just got this one. I thought it was a nice big size by the front door. I don't have all the prices on me, but I will link the prices on the screen and I will link everything down in the description box as well for you to have a look at. Then I picked up this rug, which I'm annoyed because I've just spotted a mark on it, but hopefully I'll be able to rub that out. I've got one of these from Ikea before and they are just a faux sheepskin rug and this is about £7 so really really cheap. They do have a more expensive one which is really really fluffy but this one I think does the job for only £7. It's great. We currently have one on our living room footstool because the good thing about these rugs is not only are they for the floor, you could dress them up anywhere over the top of a chair on a footstool on a bed like this just led down on there there's just so many different ways and i'm actually planning on hopefully putting this rug in our baby nursery until i find another rug to go in there but like i said there's always going to be a home for this somewhere in the house because it's such a versatile piece for only seven pound then a must buy for me every single time i go in there and one of the main reasons i needed to go back to Ikea was to pick up some of these wooden hangers. I think they're £3 for a set of five. They are just the white wooden kids hangers and I use these in the girls wardrobe. Also using this in the new nursery. So I just need loads and loads of new hangers at the moment. So I bought about five packs, but I've already started to use them. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you those quickly. So I am just jumping in here 
to show you a few more items because I've been back to Ikea since I last did my haul. So I've picked up some more items. I'm starting with these two plants and plant pots. So they all come separately. This little plant here and then this fake olive tree here which is just amazing so I really really loved that I've only got one and I want to go back and get more I want to put some in the garden but until we tidy up outside I'm not going to put any in the garden I think this was around 19 pounds so it needs a little bit of a re but I really love it and then the plant pot which I picked for it to go in is just this little one if it was going outside I'd probably pick up a bigger plant pot but this one is really pretty for indoors, it's got really nice texture on it and it was a lot cheaper than some of the bigger ones so that's why I picked that one up. I don't have the prices on me but I will try and link them down below. And then the other fake plant pot I picked up was this one. Then plants in Ikea are all called these veg vegka. that is so going to be wrong. But I really liked this one, add a bit more greenery in the house and again the plant pot was really pretty in this diamond texture all over it. The colour's like an off-white grey colour and I just thought that that looked really pretty so I'm going to find homes for these inside my house. Then I have just picked up two sets of wooden hooks and these are to go inside our downstairs cupboard i'm trying to sort that all out before the babies arrive so i just picked up two of those to hang the girls coats on bags on for school and just get a bit more organized in there because it's been an absolute mess in there since we moved into this house really so this is obviously not really showing you what it looks like in the package so i'll put a picture of what they look like on screen on the website i doubt i'll have these up by the time this video goes live but i'm sure in a future vlog i'll be doing a whole revamp of the inside of our downstairs cupboard then i picked up more of the scub boxes which is just six drawer dividers inside and i just needed these for the nursery drawer so i can just get organizing in there i use these all over our house i've got them in my drawers lexi's drawers just everywhere so we needed more for the nursery. I then got two of these woven storage baskets. These are to go in our TV unit downstairs. I've opened one up and filled it with some bits just because it's so floppy if it's not full. That's the only thing about these woven baskets. But they're really nice. They're a little bit different to the other storage baskets I've got in this house. And I thought that they'd work really well in the TV unit. So picked up two of those and I'll probably just either hide toys in there, books, things that belong in our living room that I don't really want on show. They will be living in these baskets here. And again, back for lots more hangers. We just need lots. I'm trying to sort out all of the nursery clothing and the kids clothing. So yeah, picked up a ton of these again. Then we have another vase and artificial plant here. So this is a little bouquet. That you can get an ikea which i thought was really nice i really liked the greenery it doesn't look overly fake i just thought it was really pretty all of those different textures i saw this vase and i just thought it would go perfect with this bouquet so this is just a white long-ish vase and you just got the ribbed texture running all the way around it and i got a couple of these glass bottles with the cork tops i'm not sure how to say the name these are the bigger version i think they do a smaller version in ikea as well and i've got these to put juice in the fridge so like i mentioned i think i've already got one of these so i just thought i could have one for water like lemon infused water one for orange juice because i am loving orange juice in my pregnancy one for another fruit juice or some squash and i'm gonna get some labels for them all and organize all of that. Can you tell that I am nesting and organizing at the moment? Then I almost forgot this little guy just sat on our kitchen unit at the moment. So he is just a beautiful hanging plant, but in a lighter green tone. And I'm just obsessed with that, I really like that. And then I bought one of these rattan plant pots just to put him in as well. And yeah, I just think he looks really really beautiful sat on the side there I don't know if that would be his permanent home but that's just where he was plonked when we got back from Ikea that's why I keep forgetting about him love it 
Then I got this in the kids section, just a dinosaur toy, pretty random, but I really thought he was cute and I loved the brown colours. I thought it would go quite nicely in our home because our home's quite neutral. I just thought he was really adorable and they had some really, really cute teddies in the IKEA kids section. And then I'm not gonna lie, my last few items are pretty boring and random. So I got some dishwashing brushes, one black, one pink. I picked up an ice cube tray. So we already have one from Ikea, which is the pink flowers. But this is just some sharks. And the kids thought that was quite fun and it's coming up to summer now. So we're gonna have ice in our drinks, ice barbecues and things like that, hopefully. So yeah, just picked up an ice cube tray and then got a massive pack of tea lights. I love a wax melt in my house they just make the house smell amazing so i'm constantly going through tea lights and ikea is just one of the best places for value that i found for tea lights i think this pack was about two pounds so that is going to go ahead and conclude everything which i have picked up in ikea this time so i still hope that you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe if you are an ikea fan like me because i am definitely Definitely going to be back there soon. I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your days and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.